Hi, this is T. McCluskey coming at you, and this is Arcade Talk. What's up, everybody? This is T. McCluskey coming at you, and I want to talk about Arcade 1UP with their CES 2022 lineup that just came out yesterday. I want to talk about it. They came out with three cabs. So there it is, the CES 2022 announcements. See them now. So here it is, guys. Here, here's the four that they brought out for the CES 2022. They just came out with these yesterday. Not too happy with them. I mean, we got another Pac-Man. Yay. Another Pac-Man. I mean, I like Pac-Man and everything, and I got one back there. But come on, man. Quit bringing these Pac-Mans out. I mean, does somebody have a freaking basement or game room full of Pac-Man games? I mean, how many do we need? And then we got another Centipede edition, which is, I think this is what, the second one I think they came out with. Then we got another Mortal Kombat. I mean, how many Mortal Kombats do we need? I mean, the cabinets look cool and everything, but come on, man. I'm, I'm ready for something new. There's the Pac-Man one. I mean, they look, they, they look awesome. I mean... They look great, but man, I've had enough of the same old, same old. I mean, Atari and Nameco and Bandy, Midway. I mean, they had more games than the games that they've come out with. Come on, Arcade went up. Give us something new. But one thing I do like about this announcement is this Killer Instinct. Arcade Machine Pro Series Edition. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, they have a Pro Edition now, which is pretty cool. So they have the original Arcade 1UP lineups. Then they came out with the Legacy Editions. Then the Blackout Editions. And now they have a Pro Series Edition. And this thing looks awesome! This, as you can tell... There is no riser. That's right. This is, looks like it's going to be one big machine with no riser. This thing really looks like a true arcade machine that you see in an arcade. Not too happy that's a Killer Instinct. Bummer for people. You know, the Killer Instinct that it came out with last year, it didn't come out yet. It's still in pre-order. It doesn't come out until mid-February. Then all of a sudden they come out with this Pro Series, which is cool. I admit it, it's cool. I just wish it was a different machine because, I mean, people that pre-ordered the Killer Instincts wonder if I could cancel it if they want this one, which is going to mess up the whole Killer Instinct one. So I, I, it's kind of I, I, it's, it's kind of weird. They come out with one. And then a month later, hey, hey, everybody, we come out with a Pro Series, and we got Killer Instinct again. So all you guys that pre-ordered it, you may want with this one instead. So you might see a lot of cancellations of the pre-orders for the little one coming out. Yes, that's why I said little one, because this thing is a beast. Let's go over to the other one first to see what the size is on that. Okay, there it is. Okay, so this is the one... Pre-orders now for estimated mid-January shipment. Oh, okay. So I was just on here yesterday, and I, it's, it's in mid-February. Just yesterday it said that. Now it's mid-January. So there must be – you can add it to cart. So I guess, you, yeah, pre-order now. So they're coming out probably next week. But still. So at least they're getting them early. Because like I said, I was just up at Arcade 1UP yesterday when I found the other Killer Instinct, and it said mid-February still. Okay, so this one here. It's got the Wi-Fi enabled, light up marquee, light up deck protector, moated coin door. Oh, okay, this has a moated coin door too. Nice matching stool, customizer, 17 inch monitor. Remember, 17 inch, and then assemble the size. It's gonna be 60.75 height, 60.75 inches in height. So it's only gonna be 60 inches. And there it is. There, look how little it looks. Look, look tiny. Now we go back over. The one they just announced, the Beast, I'm going to call it, because this one's even bigger than Big Blue. And no riser, man. I, I mean, I'm so excited about this Pro Series. I'm not excited about this Killer Instinct one, because I'm not going to get it. But I just am excited 
about this Pro Series. Because this thing, with no riser, give you that, is 67.5 inches tall. And I think Big Blue was 65. So this is two and a half inches taller than Big Blue, I do believe. So pretty cool. And it's going to have a molded cooling door as well. And the molded door, the one and two players, you, you see the red, they're going to light up. They're truly going to light up. There's some really neat things on this thing. One, like I mentioned, it's all one cabinet, no riser, which is so freaking awesome. It's tall, 67.5 inches tall with no riser. As you can see, they're chrome speakers, which is pretty cool. They got chrome trim on it. Pretty neat. They say this marquee is going to be some it's going to be brighter some way somehow. Um, which to me isn't that great. And the monitor screen is 19 inches. Where the old ones were all 17 inches. So the monitor is two inches bigger than the other arcade machines, which is pretty cool too. So and the stool swivels finally. I always thought they should have had them all swiveled, but this is swiveled and it has a back on it. And they comes with a custom pad it's one of those you know, foam pads but pretty neat it's, it's probably gonna be I, i'm guessing it's probably gonna be a thousand dollars eleven hundred dollars i would say nine hundred but i don't think so i think it's gonna be a thousand or eleven hundred dollars um if they did tron in this one i would probably buy it not now because i do have tron behind me right there i do have the tron and i am happy with it um but if they came out with a pro series before that i would probably get it and maybe i still get it if I can sell that one back there and then buy the Pro Series if it, if it comes out. I don't know if it's going to come out or not. But this Pro, Pro Series is pretty cool. So here's the features and specs. With its increased size over standard arcade 1UP game machines, the Pro Series features a new 19-inch LCD screen that provides a 5 to 4 ratio. With stunning contrast and viewing angles, upgraded speakers and speaker grills, For retro gaming control freaks, the Pro Series features upgraded joysticks and more genuine spacing between components that improves precision. Which I think that what it is, is they made the machine taller and wider. So your controller deck, because the controller deck definitely looks bigger. I don't know if we have a, yeah, here we go here. So you can see there is more spacing here. Definitely. So the controller deck is definitely bigger. It's wider. It looks like the control deck sticks out a little bit further than the machine, maybe. Can't quite tell. Yeah, even here it looks like it sticks out a little bit more than the machine. And you can see the control deck is almost like it's, the, you know, the, it's like these ones here are kind of stuck inside the machine. This one almost looks like it fits on top, which is kind of cool. That's how they were able to make it a little bit wider than the machine itself. So you can kind of see there, it's definitely built out a little bit further than the machine. You can kind of see it there as well. So that's kind of neat. I like that controller deck. Okay. Eye popping facts. Yeah, it's eye, eye popping facts or fucks. Chrome trim runs around the cabin edges and cosmetic 3D molded coin door with light up coin slots for one and two players start really drives that nostalgia home and of course an upgraded light up marquee is a fighting game beacon clear across the room arcade one up has your professional fight ready shape with the killer instinct pro series home arcade game machine it has wi-fi for online multiplayer flush cabinet design stands at 67.5 tall 19 inch lcd screen Upgraded the lit marquee. It's just brighter. It has the upgraded joysticks and buttons. I don't know how you say it. The name of the joystick is Zuohap. It's S-U-Z-O-H-A-P-P. -P. Upgraded speakers and speaker grills. Clear deck protector. Molded coin door with light up coin slots for one and two player start. Fax or Fux metal T-molding. And then you get the Fax RK1UP badge. 
Lysen Swivel Stool with Backrest, Lysen Anti-Fatigue Mat Included, and Lysen Tin Sign. So you do get the Lysen Tin Sign as well. Then it comes with Killer Instinct, Killer Instinct 2, Battletoads Arcade, Battletoads 8-bit, and Battletoads 16-bit. I wish they would have put little different games on it, you know, but it is what it is. So that is... Their new Pro Series. So, I'm excited about this Pro Series. I wish they would just make all their games Pro Series. Make them all this big. I mean, that thing looks awesome, man. I, I just love that there's no riser on it. It's 67.5 inches tall. I mean, it, it it looks like something you would see in arcade. I mean, I love it. I just love that it doesn't have a riser. And I love that's how tall it is. Like I said, what would I say the other one was? 60 inches? I think it was 60.75 inches tall so say 61 inches this is 67 and a half inches tall so it's almost seven inches taller and i think i think tron i think tron was 64 inches tall there's tron right here 64.75 so i might say 65 inches tall it's close enough to 65. So it's even two, two and a half inches taller than Tron. So, man, right? And, you know, and I love the Tron. Like I said, I got it back there. And I love the Tron because how high it is because it feels like a real arcade. I can imagine getting this Killer Instinct Pro Series. I mean, it's wider. It's a little taller than this Tron one. It, it, I mean, that's going to feel really like a arcade machine playing it. No more squatching down, you know. Like all these things they show these people playing these games, they're always bent down, you know. Their knees are always bent, so it makes it look like they're a little taller than they really are. But this Pro Series, you ain't going to have to do that. It's pretty much legit arcade size. And no riser, I love that, man. Why don't you just make all your machines like this, man? I know it's going to be out of people's price ranges, and I get that. It's almost like you would want them to make all machines... The smaller versions, they, even though they need to drop them down a price, if you ask me, especially if they're this Pro Series, drop the other ones back down like they used to be priced, you know, four hundred, five hundred dollars, and then have these around a thousand or whatever, and have both come out, you know, do a Legacy or original design, and then do a Pro Pro Series size for all your machines going forward. That would be awesome because I would choose the Pro Series every single time because they're bigger. That's just me though. And I understand pricing as well. Yeah, and like this girl here sitting on the stool, I mean, get back. Where'd you go? It's kind of cool. I mean, look, look how tall the machine is with her sitting on the stool. I mean, the screen's right there in her face, which is awesome. And then, you know, the marquee's above her head. Well, when I sit on my stool here with my Mr. Do or my Pac-Man, my head's about the size of the marquee. Marquis above her head on that stool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. So it just shows you, that kind of just shows you the size of that machine. So I really, way to go, Arcade 1-Up. I mean, I, I give you a thumbs up on this one. I know, <laughs> you know a lot of people ain't going to be happy with the price. But, I mean, it's taller. I mean, it, it, if you take away the tin in the stool, it would be a hell of a lot cheaper. In, in a mat. I mean, I don't care about the stool, mat, and tin sign. You know, if you take those away, you can make it a little cheaper for people. But they're going to make you get all that stuff, which I don't really care for, but it is what it is. But I would pay the extra price for the taller machine. I definitely would. So what do you guys think about this machine? Would you buy it? Like I said, it's probably going to be $1,000, 1100 especially with all the accessories it comes with. It might even be $1,200, but it could be eleven ninety nine could be 1200 So that's my range, 1000 to 12 1300 be nice if it was only 900 but i don't think so bigger cabinet bigger screen molded coin door with light up buttons which i know those ain't that cheap if you go to etsy or whatever itsy whatever you say it those doors are not that cheap they're not real expensive either but and then you got the bigger control deck as you see yeah you know, they say those coin things you could um, it almost it sounds like you could press them for player one, player two, but I don't think it is. I think they just light up because you see here's a start button here and there's a start button here. Here's your on and off. Here's your volume. I'm not sure. Oh, this 
Not sure if that's a oh, okay. That's the that would be the joystick or not joystick. Your um, headphones jack is right there, and then this should be the live button. Yeah. So the coin doors, they just light up, even though they said it sounds like... And I don't know if these things' doors open, but I, they should open. They should come with a key, and they should open, because I know there's nothing back there, but you can use that as storage. Because uh, there's nothing inside those cabinets on the, on the bottom. I mean, that'd be nice to have that thing open up and be a hole there so you could put storage in there. I, you know, I don't think they do that, but I think that'd be a cool feature. One, you'd have a key, which would be kind of neat. It would look like you know, a real thing. You can have it hanging there, and then you can open up and use you know the thing for storage. Because I always put all my manuals inside my cabinet, so I don't lose the the manuals and stuff and any spare parts. So it'd be kind of cool just to open it and put it in there. Because right now you got to open up the back, you know. So if you want to ever get it back out, you have to open up the back again and pull it out. This would be cool just to have a key and open it up and access it through the hole. But I have a feeling it does not come that way. So with the mat stool, this, this is the 10 sign that you get. Bigger screen, chrome speakers. The speakers do look cool, though. Yeah, you can't see it as good. But there's the speakers. They're you know chrome. They look really nice. Then you got the, the trim. Hopefully, that's true T-molding. On my Mr. Do machine, it's true T-molding. On my Tron, it's fake T-molding. It's like tape or something. I, I think it's like plastic, actually. And it's just stuck on there. It's not true T-molding. If you're going to do a Pro Series, you're going to charge a lot of people money. This better be true T-molding. So, bigger deck. Bigger screen. You got your chrome on there. You got chrome speaker grills, which is cool. A lot taller. Yeah, I mean, I, I just see this thing. See, they wouldn't have the coin door lit up here for some reason. I just think it's going to be around a thousand to thirteen hundred dollars for this thing, but it's cool. I mean, I really like the size of it. Neat to see what they come out next in the Pro Series. Like I said, I, I just wish they would do a regular size and a Pro Series size for all the machines going forward. So then you got the people who say, okay, do I want the smaller one for this price or do I want the bigger one for this price? You know, like Tron, I would I would definitely would would have picked the, the Pro Series over the one I bought just because I you know I like the size and I think I could afford it maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> Depends on the price that it comes out at. But I would want the bigger size if I could afford it. So that way, I mean, it gives you the choice, you know. Because, like I said, some people will pick the Pro Series because they don't care about the price. And then some other people will pick the smaller version. So may And maybe they'll do that. I'm not, I, I'm not sure what they're going to do going forward. But that's just my thought. It was, I just wish they would come out with... Anyone going forward, both the pro and the regular size, so it gives you know it gives people the choice what they want for their you know gaming. So I looked at the top looks completely flat too. So you're gonna have a flat like the one I have now. But all the ones I have now, they're not really flat flush like that. You know, they're kind of there's not really a, there's a top up there, but not like that. It looks like it's gonna be nice and flush, which is kind of neat. But give me your thoughts. What do you think of this Pro Series? Not just the Killer Instinct one, because I really don't care that it's the Killer Instinct. I just like, they're coming out with the Pro Series, and they're bigger. They're wider, they're taller. Pretty cool. So what do you think, what's your thoughts on the Pro Series? And what's your thought on the pricing on it coming out? And which one would you like to see come out in the Pro Series? Like I said, my, my thought is have the little one, and then have the big one for all machines going forward. But I doubt if they'll do that. I wish they would, but I doubt they'll do it. But what do you think? Do you think they should come out with the standard size and the Pro Series for all cabinets going forward? Or just special ones? Leave your comments, questions, concerns down in the comment section below. i really like to hear from you and what your thoughts on the Pro Series. And then would you pay the extra money to get a bigger and wider machine and a bigger monitor as well? So would you pay the extra pricing? I just wish you could pick and choose the accessories. You know, if you don't want the tin stole in a mat... You know, this should be one price, and then if you want everything, you know, it should be another price. Or just don't make people buy the accessories. I know they're trying to get more money, but dang, man, don't force this stuff on people. Is my thought, which rises the prices as well. But leave your 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 thoughts. I really want to hear from you. I really want to hear what you think about the Pro Series. And would you pay the extra money for the Pro Series? So give me your thoughts down below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. 
you haven't subscribed or new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on. And I thank you in advance. And until next time, I will see ya.